What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am pumped. Today we are doing a tank update and also we are putting a new fish in my tank. I am so excited. It's about time. My tank is like 75% done. I have everything that I need in the tank. The bass is doing great. I got some plecos in there cleaning up the glass. It's time for a new fish and that is going to be done today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of fish. It's going to be a surprise. You got to wait till later in the video. But right now, I'm actually on my way to go catch a fish for a tank, but it's not mine. It's my buddy Julian from Bite the Bait. He said that he wants a bluegill for his tank and down in Miami, deep Miami where he's at, they don't see him as often as I see him here. So I'm going to catch a bluegill for him, put him in the live well, bring it down to him, and then we're going to go pick up my pet fish and bring it back up to my tank. It should be an interesting day. I'm so excited to finally be putting a new fish in this tank. I'm going to be putting fish in this tank quite frequently now. Um, today one and then maybe tomorrow another one. We'll see. I don't know yet, but let's get today started. It's going to be fun. Let's go catch my buddy a bluegill right now. Hey, we are here now. We're at a spot where I know it's fairly easy to catch these little bluegill. They're super pretty. They're not too big here either. They're all about small and medium size. I'm just chumming the water right now with some bread just to attract them in here. Oh, got one on, got one on, got one on. Oh, here we go. This guy might be too small. We're gonna keep him anyway, just in case, but I don't know. He may be a little smaller than I wanted for my buddy Julian's tank. He said about four inches. This guy's about I don't know, I'd say maybe three inches. He might be too small, but either way, he's super pretty. We're gonna keep him and try for another. See if we can get just a little bigger than that. Oh, fish on. There we go. <laughs> I think he's a little bigger <laughs> than the last one. We're getting there. He's a little bit bigger. They all seem to be the same exact size, but they are very, very pretty fish. We're gonna throw him in. Take a look. Let me see. Yeah, he's a bit bigger. I mean, they're almost identical, but I think we'll get a bigger one. Oh, oh, we got a runner. There we go. Yes. Oh, perfect size. That is the size we want, guys. Here you go. Take the bread now. This is the size that we have been looking for. Perfect bluegill size. I'd say about four inches, roughly about four inches. Hopefully, it didn't swallow the hook. All right, so Julian's bluegill is in there, right there. That guy, he's the biggest one. I'm going to take out the smallest and leave the two largest um, because maybe Julian wants two. This guy is the smallest one. Oh, come on, buddy. Throwing you back. There you go. This little guy was the smallest, so we're going to throw him back. Later, bud. Go live. Don't, don't get eaten by the ducks. All right, he's good. Got our fish. They're perfect size. Now... We got a little bit of a drive. We're gonna head over to Julian's. We're gonna, we're gonna acclimate these guys, put them in his tank, and then we're gonna go get my fish. So let's do it. Oh gosh. We have arrived. I am at my buddy's house. We got our bluegill chilling. I checked on them like five minutes ago. They're very much alive. Shush! So we're gonna head inside and get these guys acclimated, or at least start the process. Somebody order some fish? Yeah, hell yeah. Bite <laughs> the big fishing house. That's something we should start, your own fish delivery service. Dude, fish delivery. Fish to your door. TFJ delivery. <laughs> Anything you need. This is the tank that the little bluegills are going into. Nice little setup you got here, dude. How do you like it? I love it. Got the peacock chilling. <laughs> where's everything else? Down. Where's everyone else? No one's home? Where's the, where's the... The clown knife? Oh, he's in the, he's in the thing. This asshole likes to hide in here. <laughs> there he is. Him and the, sh and the snail. Look at the snail. Where's the... It's a huge snail. I can't see him. Oh, I see him. You see oh, him? Oh, wow, yeah. He's big. I don't know how he even fits in there anymore. <laughs> and the little pleco's there. Got the little pleco hanging out, cleaning the bottom, doing what he's supposed to. There's another snail somewhere else, but that's like the cool snail that one in there. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're putting the bluegill in this little Ziploc bag and we're going to acclimate them for just a little bit. Now these bluegill are quite hardy. They can live in like some really filthy, dirty water. But what we're worried about is the temperature of this water and this water is really different. You said this one's about 15 degrees different? I would say probably. I mean, yeah. I don't know a thermostat in here, but 
probably assuming what the, the waters are in our lakes and canals right now, it's seems probably 10, 15 degree difference. Okay, so this one's a lot warmer. So we're gonna let him sit, we're gonna let him chill, and we're gonna put him in in just a little bit. Guys, there they go, they're freaking out. <laughs> that one's like going crazy. <laughs> All right guys, these bluegill have been acclimating for about 45 minutes, I'd say. Just about. So they are good to go. They're a little upset because they we are a little keep upset. moving them from one right, place to another. There you go. They're probably like, when are we gonna just... Other way, buddy. Other way. <laughs> oh no, the bag's sinking. <laughs> No. Oh, his, his his dorsal got caught. There he goes. Seems happy. He didn't flip out and like go all over the place like I was expecting him to be. Nice. Take him by the tail. Maybe it'll be easier. There hey. goes the second one. Courtesy of Tall Fisherman Jay. There you go, bro. You're welcome. Stalking the bite the bait pond. <laughs> <laughs> guys, fish. look, guys. They're playing. Little they're playing fish. tag. They're playing tag. <laughs> Look, he lightened up. Maybe he got less stress. He feels comfortable. I think the fact that I took the bag out of the water made, a, made her feel more comfortable. Yeah, that's true. Because she's just like stressed out about anything new that goes in there. Cool. She's going to get stressed again, it looks like, but. That's good though that he's, he's getting real comfortable in there. That's really cool. All right guys, so now that the bluegill are hanging out in Julian's tank, they, they've acclimated quite well. They're just getting comfortable to their environment. Uh, we are headed to the store to get my fish now. The fish that I'm getting, you can catch in the wild and out naturally, but I don't know if I can catch a little baby one or how easy it would be. And there's a pet store right near Julian's house that has exactly what I want. So we are on our way there. Hopefully they have one. Hopefully they're not sold out, but we're on our way there right now. Stay tuned. We're gonna flip out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Petco! Petco, this place has what I want. I hope. Fingers crossed. You said they had one they left had one a day ago, like right? Two or three days ago. Oh my god. All right, here we go. We're here. They have a really, really good sale on a 75 gallon. 89 bucks. $89. I may upgrade to a 75 gallon right now, but, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for my new pet. Let's see if they have them. Where is he at? Over here? Is he in there? Right there. Yes! He's in there! Baby claw knife, guys. That is what I want. Here he is, right here. Oh my god, look at him. Oh my gosh. What a gorgeous fish. Look at that, you guys. That is the next pet. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, Maya, go get the other one. Then. Fishing. And then, like, now we've been doing like fish tank videos too. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah, it's a bite the bait fishing. Yes. Yeah. And then he's Paul Fisherman J. Yeah. We'll both have these two So I can go on his tank. Nice. Done. So. Yeah. Oh, we'll order some more. I'll be here on Thursday when you guys get your shipment to hopefully get one if it's in there. Okay. He is acquired. My little pet clown knife is here. We're heading back. We're gonna acclimate him, put him in the tank, and see how he does. I'm so excited right now. Yeah, so we are back. Here is our little clown knife right in there. Just chilling, hanging out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put him in the tank to acclimate. We're gonna put him in there for about an hour or two. I want him to be real comfortable before we let him in. Not sure if any of you can notice on camera, but I actually swapped tanks. I went from a 55 to a 75. Now I didn't really film it because it's pretty much just everything swapped over to a bigger tank, so I didn't want to make a whole video on it, but I did up the size. You can really tell from the side, the 55 is literally half the size of this, so the 75 is way wider, way bigger, which means we can put more fish and bigger fish, so I'm super excited about it. We're going to let this guy sit in here for just a little bit, just like that, and we're going to come back to him in a couple hours and release them into the tank. And also today we are doing a lot of stone and driftwood placement. So right now we're gonna go and prep that while he acclimates. Let's start it. Okay, so what we're doing next is we're gonna place the rocks. Now these rocks, like I said earlier, I got them from the Everglades. These are natural rocks. I didn't buy these rocks at a store, an aquarium store, a pet store. We went and picked these rocks as well as the driftwood that we're gonna put in just a second out in the wild so it literally does not get any better than that so i got four stones right here here's one two three and four we're probably just going to make a little 
a little cave for these guys. Trying to make it as even as possible. And then the big boy is going in. I did rinse these rocks off. They were actually in water for quite a while. So that looks pretty good. Oh, don't be scared, Pleco. Don't be scared. That looks really, really good right there. Oh my gosh. So there is the rock placement, you guys. I am super happy with that. The 75 gallon really, really makes it possible to get these giant boulders in there. And just to give you an idea how much room we actually have, here is a side view of the tank. And as you can see, the rocks only take up literally maybe five inches across. We have all this room and some room in the back. So the 75 gallon was a really good investment. So there's the rocks. And next is the driftwood. Okay, last step before we release our clown knife is we're going to put some driftwood in here now. This is all natural driftwood. Same thing as the rocks. We went and we picked this up down in the Everglades. We got some really, really solid pieces of wood here. So we're gonna lay these down in the tank and that is going to do it for our tank customization for today. I do plan on getting more live plants. I have a couple in there now, but I'm definitely gonna get more. But for now, the rocks and the driftwood as well as the clown knife were the addition today. So let's get started on this. All right, place, placement is key with this stuff. I need it to look as good as possible. I don't want it to be too cluttered in one area. That is good like that. Here we're gonna put this one over here. Same right there on this rock. So there we have you guys. There is our driftwood rock placement. Those right there were free. <laughs> Got all that for free. It looks incredible. The tank is really coming together. It looks beautiful. I am so happy with it so far. Last thing to do in this video is to set that guy free. Let's put him in. It has been long enough. This guy is ready to go in, so we're just gonna open the bag. He's been in here for what? Probably two and a half hours. I've been doing so much with the rocks, trying to get him clean. This guy has been sitting for a very, very long time. Then trying to get this bag open. All right, we got the bag open. We're going to release him now. I really hope that the, the bass doesn't harass this guy because the bass is really aggressive, but we'll see. Come on, buddy, find the hole. Almost there, there you go. And he's out. There he goes. Check him out, you guys. He's just exploring his new environment. Beautiful little clown knife. Actually, he's right next to the bass. They seem to be getting along, I hope. There he goes. He's just exploring. He doesn't know where he's at right now, but it's good that he's swimming around. Look at him, perfect. I am super happy with this purchase, you guys. This guy is going to grow up to be a beautiful clown knife fish. I am so hyped for this new addition here. <sighs> so happy. That is going to do it for this update, you guys. The tank is looking fantastic. Like I said, I actually swapped my 55 out for a 75. It took me about an hour and a half to make everything swap over. I went ahead and put the natural rocks, the natural driftwood in there, and I added a nice little clown knife fish. And also, I hooked up my buddy Julian with a nice bluegill, so everyone won today. I picked the name for that little bass right there, and the name is TJ. But I do need your advice on a name for this little guy. So leave a comment in the comment section below what I should name him. 
and I may pick your comment. If you guys are digging the tank videos, let me know. I have a lot of things planned for this thing right here. I am so excited for the future. Let me know in the comments below how much you love this. Give it a thumbs up. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. More tank videos to come, and I will see you later.